if there's life on those planets, or those early forming planets, they're not a million years ahead of us. They're billions of years ahead of us. When I first came to, to, to NASA Ames in the 60s, we didn't know of any planets other than ones in our solar system. Since then, you know, we sent the Apollo to the moon. We have technology to understand the structure of the stars, to see planets, to measure the characteristics of those planets. And shortly, our technology will increase to the point we may be able to find out, do those planets have atmospheres? If they have atmospheres, is there some symbol, some things that would tell us that there's intelligent life. We know there are about 300 billion stars in our galaxy. And we know there's about, on average, two or more planets per star. So that's 600 billion. Maybe 10% of those are small planets, 10% of those in the habitable zone. So that means there's about 20 billion planets about the size of the Earth in the habitable zone of their star, places that might be just right to start life. We have found planets, rocky planets, around a star that's about nine billion years old. It's four and a half billion years older than ours. If there's life on those planets, or those early forming planets, they're not a million years ahead of us. They're billions of years ahead of us. They're billions and billions of such planets, and so there may be a tremendous amount of life out there for us to find. What we're asking is when we find life, will that life be like us? Our life, it goes all the way from little bacteria to the proteins, to single cell organisms, to the jellyfish in the ocean, to the dinosaurs that ran the earth for millions of years, to us. So what will we find when we go to these other planets? Will we find microbial mats? You know, microbial mats is what life was like on earth. It's gonna take a while for them to evolve creatures. But those creatures might very well swim in oceans, fly in the air, and maybe have technical civilizations like us. But will they be exactly like us? I doubt that very much. If the gravity is very high, they might be six-legged, sort of slinked along. If the gravity is very low, maybe all life is like birds flying through the air, but probably have some similarities and lots of differences from us. I'd, I'd love to find life that we might communicate with, that we might explore the universe with, uh, and, and see the variations of life, whether it's microbial mats and we learn something about evolution, or it's advanced life where we hopefully have partners to explore our galaxy.